Today we're gonna take a look at the new 3D Code 2024 release. I think 3D Code is one of those 3D software that people use it, love it and think it is the most powerful tool. And then there are people who don't know it even exists. Seriously though, 3D Code is somewhat popular, but I think it deserves more recognition. I would say that 3D Code always defies my expectations by introducing new and powerful features that would make any 3D artist's life so much easier. And the only thing that I think is going against it is that it is being overshadowed by more popular paid software, except Blender, Blender is good. But today, I'm gonna try and make the case for 3D code. And while we're at it, we're also gonna check some of the new exciting features introduced by the Ukrainian-based developer Pugway with this new 2024 release. This new release unveiled a ton of features like the improved vector displacement workflow with VDM creation tool, live boolean, layer masks, improved UI, Blender 4 support sync, AI assistant, C-scale master tool, a new edge flow tool, updated direct export to Cora for 3D printing, and more. In a nutshell, 3D Code is a powerful sculpting and texturing software designed to create freeform organic and hard surface 3D models. Developed by Pilgway, I would say it is a unique and only one type of 3D software. It offers user-friendly 3D sculpting and hard surface modeling. In addition to PBR and hand-painted texturing, UV mapping and retopology tools. It also has a very capable renderer with a somewhat simple interface and workflow. The great thing is that 3D code remains a perpetual license, costing less than half as much as ZBrush's last year license. And it seems that since the beginning of this year, Maxon has stopped selling permanent licenses and upgrades for ZBrush. Moreover, you can buy a permanent 3D code license via the rent to own option. Rent to own plans are a good possibility to start using the program right now and to play it for installments as opposed to one upfront payment, which I think will give you more options and flexibility. 3D Code uses voxel sculpting, which uses volume instead of polygon meshes, and voxels are like the 3D equivalent of pixels. You can think of them as tiny cubes stacked next to each other. This gives you a huge advantage when sculpting, as you don't need to worry about the topology, which can be altered continuously during the sculpting process not to mention the complete freedom over the form and shapes. Now, with this new 2024 release, vector displacement brush support was added, and you have a library of VDM brushes, and you can find these brushes within the alphas panel. You can also, like any other brush, import VDM EXR files. Furthermore, the displacement creation tool named Pick and Paste will allow you to, similar to a stamp clone tool, extract the shape of almost any surface on an existing object in the scene, which I think is cool. This is a huge time saver as it simplifies the creation process of VDM brushes from whatever model, where you have rights of course, so don't be going around stealing someone's work. As Uncle Ben said, with great power comes a great responsibility. Also this release improved the voxel workflow. The voxel workflow is already powerful in 3D code. But with this version, they added live boolean to voxels, so now it includes add, subtract, and intersect. This will work perfectly, even with heavy complex geometry, with almost no tax on performance, which is always amazing to see. I feel like sculpting in 3D code, in general, is fast and responsive, but one area that I agree with a lot of people on is that the UI leaves a lot to be desired. That's why in this version, the developer addressed some of these issues by doubling down on the UI improvements once more. And this includes adding viewport navigation gizmos, enhancing the activity bar, and providing better and customizable UI icons. And you can adjust their colors under the theme tab in the preferences. Furthermore, the different workspaces are now easily accessible through the tabs instead of menus, which was the case in the previous versions. I personally think that tabs are much more intuitive and cleaner. You can switch back to the old drop-down menu if this is what you prefer. Next is a new edge flow tool which will allow you, while modeling, to add adjustable levels of curvature 
to a selected edge loop between surrounding geometry. So you might be modeling something cylindrical, but because you created it with fewer vertices, you want to add more geometry without affecting the curvature. This is a powerful tool to adjust and non-destructively or easily have more control over your geometry. And around the same topic of modeling, there is a new powerful modeling tool called Align Vertices, which helps you, well, align vertices or add various types of topology alignment. I know, it doesn't sound very impressive, but I wish I could do stuff like this in Blender. This is a powerful tool. On top of that, there are improved extra tools, improved bridge tools, added options to round corners in stock mode, and a lot more. Another exciting addition to 3D code is the add-on system. Similar to what you can see in other software such as Max, Maya, or Blender, this will help connect Python and C++ developers and other users, which will allow for an easier way of sharing scripts, providing instructions, and finding information. There are already a couple of add-ons like Break Mesh by Cracks, but I'm sure in the future there will be even more, maybe hundreds or thousands of scripts like we can find in Blender. Next up we have Masking. Similar to what we see in Photoshop, 3D Code now implements and supports both layer masks and clipping masks, and it works with Vertex Paint, Vertexture, and Voxel Paint. In addition, the updated uplink improved the integration with Blender 4, and now you can work between the two applications seamlessly. You'll love to see it. There are a ton of other performance and functionality improvements, in addition to a ton of other features, like the ability to export for 3D printing, or the ability to see the texture map preview thumbnail on layers. In addition to specialized 3D code chat GPT, which allows you to do all sorts of things. So I urge you to check out 3D code YouTube channel to take a look at the full list of features and tools they can provide for you. So guys, if you are interested in 3D code, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.